Hey guys, welcome to another Cinemalis video and today I'm going to tell you how to get stronger. Now, um, no one, no one has asked, asked this question before, but I've seen that people talk about it here and there, but it hasn't been an updated version since there's been not a lot of new things come out to the game on how to get stronger in the game the best, fastest, more efficient way possible. So I'm going to give you uh, three major tips that I will recommend as well as a few little extra here and there that you can do if you have the resources for it. So starting off, uh, you have to improve your classes. Now, improving your classes, you have to go right here to upgrade and sell, right? You know, internet being better right now. Upgrade classes. And how many classes you have, and you keep getting more from pooling, you need to keep leveling them up. In order to do so, you need mastery points. But if you do not have mastery points, how are you going to level them up? So, what I'm bringing to you is a way of getting mastery points. So, as you can see right here, I have a total of 721,000. This is because I grinded a lot of mastery points. How do I do this? You get mastery points from using SP, uh, the, by the SP cost of weapons you use in story mode, in events, in Colosseum battles, in any of those things. So, here's the best way for you to get mastery points. You have no more AP, you have nothing else to do, you need to wait for your AP to build up. You go right here to limit to limited time events. You go to the study hall, and what you can do, you can do any of these missions. Once they load, you know, any of these missions at zero cost, zero AP cost. They cost nothing. So what you do is you just repeat the missions over and over again in auto, re in full auto, because it will just keep clearing them out and giving you points. Um, the one I would recommend myself is the Vanguard versus Rearguard. And in this one, what I would do is I would pers I would put in, um, I would leave it in auto, and you will get about 500 to 625 mastery points at the end of it. And it takes about four, uh, three to four minutes depending on critical hits and whatnot. Uh, so you use you do this uh, mission over and over again. You have nothing to do. You leave the phone on the edge, on, on, on the next to the bed. You just put try again, try again, try again, waiting for your AP to build up, and that's the way to do it. So that's number one, mastery points, the mastery point grind. Number two, level up. Now, what do you mean by level up? Well, leveling up has two perks that come to the game. If you are a Vanguard, the major, the first perk that, that you will get is HP increase. So your HP increases per level. Um, I don't know if you guys saw in the first video that I made, but I had very little uh, levels. Well, I had a low levels, but based on my uh, level, I'm at 100, 151 of rank. And my HP is already 37,000. Now this is of course, have, my classes don't give me that much HP for me to have this much of this much HP, but I do have more HP than some vanguards in my guild just because I have, I have a higher level than them. But that's not the only reason why it is better. The other thing that comes with leveling up is you get more space to get to build SP. So we go, to, I mean, not to build SP, to put into your gear. So you edit, the higher rank you are, the more SP cost you can put in your set. So you, hear, you see right here, 321 out of 333. Every couple levels or every two levels or one level, it's always different and set in different level rankings. You, your SP cost increases by one. And each weapon can use it in 15 or 30. As of right now, I do not have enough SP, uh, uh, I mean cost, in order to submit it to put in a different one. So you can hear my dog in the background barking to the outside. So that's that's one reason you need it. Another reason is because after level 100, every 10 levels, such as 110, 120, 130, would allow you to add another as an, another sub weapon, sub armor, and sub nightmare space, which means extra stats. As you can see, I forgot to add the nightmare. So I have. So we go back uh, before I actually add an, a nightmare. If we see these stats that I do have, I see this is a. Uh, I'm going to get up with do the last numbers because that's. Um, I don't think I go up by a thousand. I'm not too sure, but it's three D one and two or three, and the other ones uh, and then seven. So if I were to add it, a my nightmare, uh, I have bonds. I haven't maxed her out yet. This will increase my points, and I believe this will also increase my stats. So putting, putting her in, my points went up, my stats also went up. As you can see, these two no longer end in seven, and these guys went up by about a hundred, I believe. 
or a little less than 100 but of course it is an sr and whatever but the more nightmares you can fit the more sub gear you can fit the more weapons it just increases your power overall as well as your points lastly a way to get stronger and um, let's say you are a vanguard i mean a rear guard and you cannot clear you know your missions is going right here in story mode well, clicking co-op settings and selecting only select the friends to join you that way because the game has this tendency of putting people into your if you have anyone can join the people the bots that join you are a lot lower ranking than you are which makes them a lot a lot lower than you a lot weaker than you as well so what i did is you go to menu you can go to rankings uh you can go to top rankings on the s guilds so you go to s and you look at the strongest players in your area well not in your area in your server so this is right now is the united states the the american and european server which soon will become the world server so we might get the the people that are stronger from asia and we just get them, look at the people and get and get them sorry about that i had to go check what my dog was barking at so as i was saying you come and check on these super strong people you try to follow them and see if you can follow the player the reason you say see, uh, see because sometimes these players they have their friends is filled up and you're not able to join them i mean to add them once you've added them then you go back over here to your co-op select uh settings and you want to select the, select the friends and you go down your list and find those friends you want now in certain events um and what i've noticed i have to swap out some friends because they don't have the the proper elements so recently there was a all fire event and I used to have no uh, I used to have one of my friends here that had almost all wind I uh, can't seem to find them at the moment I think they changed they change their gear but they used to have their gear being like two twos uh 15 and since it was a fire event they kept doing no damage so they weren't doing anything so you have to make sure you check what elements your friends have uh, and as well as make sure if you have if you cannot heal yourself make sure you have a healer also in there So you have a higher chance of beating any level most levels you you go up to Thanks to that. I was able to go pretty far in the uh, in the other event in the XP event uh, So my story mode was I unlocked a, a hard mode in act 2 and got very very far in it So if I go to act 2 of hatred Why are you being so weird? Okay, as you can see, this is normal and hard mode. It has been it's updated up to this portion right here. As you can see, before I couldn't even get past chapter one. So there's that. So these are the three major tips that I do give you in order for you to improve as a free-to-play player. Now, uh, addition, the additional little things that I want to recommend is. Whenever you have extra crystals and you don't have anything to pull, you can always go to shop uh, in the early stages. Uh, and then you're gonna go to items, and in here you're gonna have the option to get the Vanguard weapons. There's also a rearguard weapon stack. You can get them uh, five times, so you can limit break the weapons. And then there's also um, vials you can purchase, being the gold, the gold boost, XP boost, and item boost drop. You can only buy one of these ever, so make sure to use them correctly or efficiently or the best timing you can don't use them just because you have them um, and also you want to uh, uh, limit break every single weapon that you get here to the max po possibility and i recommend doing it one at a time that way you get to complete the missions uh, because there's the main visions that just keep uh, increasing completely and doing that will give you more crystals just be more crystals that for advancing in the quest Another thing you want to do your daily missions daily because you get these free VIP tickets that never reset. As you can see, I have a total of 40, no, 30 sana, 33 because I've been using them now, not, now that I need them. And these uh, purification tickets, I would not recommend to use them just because you have them. I recommend save them up, use them efficiently. What do I mean by efficiently? For me, efficiency means you use the resources the best way possible. The way I do this, one of the things I do myself a lot is that every day you have you get a free key that opens the restricted events. In case you miss miss this events can because they only come out for thirty minutes once in not once every uh a couple of times a day, but if you miss them, 
you still have 10 minutes you get for free that you can use on any other any any of these but they, they do cost 45 ap to enter into them so what i will do is i will go into into one of these events i'll use up my saved up um limited time uh skip tickets i'll then so whenever i miss it i'll, I'll open the 10 minute i use my 10 minute key go into the event use all my skip tickets from there i would i would then purify because I, I wouldn't have enough ap i will go back into the event use the skip tickets again if i still have more skip tickets go back into the uh purif to purify with the skip with the purification ticket come back and just repeat until you run out of purification tickets or the 10 minute timer runs out and this is more efficient doing this you save up the 15 20 uh, skip tickets and you ha can purify through all of them you can run the event the mission for about the in those 10 minutes you can do about 20 to 30 uh 20 to 25 runs in the 10 minutes compared to only doing 11 runs in it per key so the efficiency there is on doing more missions as fast as possible and you really truly need it you can also during during doing this you can use the item drop um vial that way instead of getting the drops from just doing a 25 to 30 runs you'll be getting the drops equivalent to doing 50 to 60 runs in a matter of 10 minutes. Now, doing these missions for a matter of 10 minutes again, 60 of them, that's about a one hour worth of grinding in about 10 minutes. That's what I consider efficiency. Well, I hope you find this video informational, helpful, and, you, and I hope I see you out there in the Coliseums. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.